Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play 10 Game Macchio Zero. Last time, we defeated Atramentus Alabaster and the rest of all of his cronies, so we can now talk to the goddess Agni. But before you do that, there's a couple things that you want to do to Hegon. First of all, make sure he has max HP and MP. Secondly, equip him with a bolt bracelet, a warding curio, the canine godstone, as well as the fortune ring. You'll find out why soon enough. And let's go over and approach Agni. Yeah, can you help us out here? I mean, she really is one to hold a grudge, isn't she? It's been 600 years, lady. Get over it. I mean, yeah, we didn't do it back then, but we're trying to mend our ways and, you know, kill Ninji now. So the least you could do is help us. Yeah. So is she still blaming humans? Yeah. But Agni doesn't want humans to be alive. Subaru's saying this like it's a good thing. Agni wants all the humans dead. I mean... Because Ninji made the humans, and she wants everything that Ninji made dead. She's not exactly a great goddess. Oh, yeah. Has she? From way up here? There aren't any humans up here. There's just Fire Clan people. God forbid you actually lift a finger and do anything yourself. We're here to do it all for you. For, you know, all of your gratitude. You seem to have so much. Whoa! Oh, hey, it's Agni herself. She looks like a squid. Like, is it just me? I don't know, maybe it's something about her hair being the same color as her face. <laughs> yeah, we are kind of dumb, gotta say. We're not the smartest people around. Oh, well, thanks, I think. I'm sure I do. Whoa. Ooh. Nice. So what do you have? What do you have? Uh, hey, Agni's sword. Again. Well, thanks. Oh. Really? Seriously, lady? What are we supposed to do then? Come on, why can't you just give us the sword that will kill him? Ugh. We need the fire of a soul. Sure. Okay. Oh, the fire of Agni. But you're Agni. Can't you just, you know, instill the your own fire in the sword? No, that would be way too easy. We have to go to the threshold of the heavens. Wait, just he gone? Oh man, come on now. <laughs> I like the look on Tension's face. It's like, what happened? Where'd he go? Uh, yeah, he already left. Oh. Oh no! But can we really do this on our own though? Well, let's find out. So we gotta attain the fire of Agni, which is inside the threshold of the heavens, and whoa, go for 
then conquer and get it. Okay, so here um, he walks very slowly, but just don't get damaged. You'll be fine. Just stop before each one of these, and yeah, that's pretty much it. In the top right hand corner you will see your HP as well as your TP. Here what you want to do is um, there's like little holes and stuff and there's little explosions and fires and all that. Um, it's not that big of a deal if you get hit, 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 get hit by the fires but you don't really want to have to start over. So yeah, just follow my path and you'll be fine. Just go this way, go up through here, and then go up through here as well. Notice my HP going up with each step because of that fortune ring? Yeah, very, very handy to have. And then here the bridge falls behind you, but you just hit forward and you'll be fine. It's not scary at all. I wish that you could run through here, but that's not the case. And then in here we have some random battles, but with that warding curio, hopefully there won't be that many of them. And here we have the fighting spirit. It is a lightning based attack, which is why I told you to equip that bolt bracelet to absorb that, which is really, yeah, this raging heavens attack. Really a pain in the ass here. But now it actually heals you. So it's not half bad, is it? Again, with the canine um, stones that you can get some counter attacks in, now that this little pot is alone, it's going to be healing itself like over and over and over again, which is highly obnoxious. So I think that the best way to actually deal with it would be either be to sit here and attack it over and over and over again, or just go with a critical hit against it with a thunder cutter. I honestly think that that's probably the best way. Hopefully get a counter attack in there too. Or not, but either way, we got him. Sweet. Ooh, I got a wind helmet too. Who knew? No experience though, so that kind of sucks. Anyway, just go over here, and then we have these little balls that come flying on in. If you get crushed by them, you will lose 50 HP. Again, it's not that big of a, uh, a deal, but um, it's something to uh, keep in mind. Okay, so that's pretty much it, and we're done with that area. Yeah, not too bad here. And then here, just go straight forward, and the fire won't hit you at all. Again, very simple, very easy. Oh, what's going on? Yikes. Oh, it just stopped. Whoa! Wait. What's going on? Oh, hey, Subaru! Wait, I thought that Agni said that you couldn't help me. What are you doing here? Yeah, I guess so. Well, thanks. She really is helpful. Why didn't you come and help me, Tenjin? Too busy thinking up new riddles? Yeah, Aggie's pissed. Um, because you're not a very good goddess. You want all the humans dead? And Tangent even speaks to the goddess herself in riddles. Aggie, could you, like, smack him across the face? Like, seriously. <laughs> well... Yeah, you know, kids, they spread their wings and they fly and they're becoming a person. Oh. Okay. I wonder how Subaru got into, like, that alternate dimension that Agden created here. I would imagine so. Oh, or not. Some friend you are. Man, what's your problem? Oh. Yeah, thanks. You're so great. Ugh. Oh. And again, let's just keep on going forward through these long, narrow hallways. Like, quite literally, long, narrow hallways. Oh, that must be the fire of Agni. What? What in the world? What was that? Let's try this again. So close, yet so far. Yikes! 
kind of think we're stopped here. I don't know if we can get by that barrier. Uh-oh. Whoa! Oh, shit! Can't you just, like, fly around at Subaru? I mean, come on now. Oh, hey, Tenjin. That was quick. Well, what are you gonna do? We have, a, like, a laser beam barrier here. Oh. It's gonna reflect it away? That works. Hey, hey. Nice! I thought you only said one more time. This has been two more times, Tenjin. But hey, third time's a charm. Sweet. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, all you did was hold up a mirror. Couldn't hurt you that much. Hey, we'll do. And we will march there as slowly as humanly possible too. This is a real big fire for these little piddly-ass sparks to be coming over into the sword, but, eh, whatever works for you. And what's the name of this great sword? Like, Excalibur? Gigas? The Halbard? The sword has many names. Or Hegon's sword. Yeah. Way to be creative. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Oh! Hey, hey! Looks like another mirror and an orb. Sweet! And now we get ultimate weapons for everyone! Which are aptly named Subaru's Orb and Tenjin's Mirror, just like Hegon's Sword. Very creative. <laughs> oh well. You know, I, I do like this game. I just kind of poke fun of it, at it for little things like this. Oh, hey! Nice! Okay. Yeah, we'll do. Well, now that you're not behind a rock wall, maybe you can see the true beauty of the humans. Hopefully. Anyway, first things first, definitely equipped these new uh, pieces of... Um, these, these new weapons here. Yeah. It hits all enemies and can't miss. All of them do. Same thing with his mirror. Same thing with his sword. It's so, so, so nice. Okay, so now what I want to do is, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's take off the dragon orb and the claw gauntlet. Let's see what I want to do. Um, it doesn't really matter what I stick on him. Uh, I don't know, a dream pendant. Um, let's take off that dragon orb too. You know what, actually... Uh, once I put on the, uh, the Warden Curio for the Dragon Orb, and does it really need this fortune ring? No, not really, I don't guess. Um, I don't know. Uh, a Lunar Pendant? Maybe a Judgment Ring? Uh, you know what I could use? I could use a Claw Gauntlet, that'll work. Uh, just something different. And then over here, I want that Warden, uh, Curio on him. Let's see, where is it? There it is. I'm going to deal with more accessories later on in the game, but this is fine for right now. Um, I am good to go. I have my weapons equipped and everything. Got my brand new armor. Actually, wait, do you have anything else to say? Oh. Um, same thing as usual. And I just felt that I would check. You know, sometimes hermits have more to say. I figured maybe she'll have more to say, too. Who knew? Oh, what's going on? Who's there? like this music. Whoa! 
Oh, no. Is this that tremendous alabaster again? Whoa! It is, but we killed you and exploded into a billion pieces. Uh, yeah, I am. Oh, great. Lovely. Uh-oh, bathing in your blood. Yikes! Ah, for boss time! Against a multi-part Adramendous Alabaster, we have the left eye, the right eye, and, I don't know, the center eye? Yeah. So that guy over there on the right, he absorbs HP from you. This guy over here, he buffs, he debuffs. The guy on the right can heal. Like, it's a pain. And, of course, like all good multi-part bosses, they can revive. But, we now have all hitting weapons. Yeah, it's so good. But the best part of our all, all hitting weapons is Sting. Oh, it's so, so, so nice. Yeah, so Higon is going to be a house in this battle. Uh, let's go ahead and put Subaru on healing duty for right now. I will have her kind of interspersed Wonderfly here and there, but I just want to make sure that, you know, we don't die first. Oh, yeah. Did you notice that? That was a counterattack. Yeah. He, whenever he counterattacks now, he counterattacks with his Sting buff, and he is hitting all enemies with his counterattack. It's so, so, like, I can't overstate how good it actually is. It's just amazing! Okay, we actually seem to be doing pretty decently well on HP. Um, I probably have Tenjin use a heal on himself. But the people who matter have plenty of HP. And it's always nice to get a Wonderfly in here or there. Yeah. Yeah, notice how this guy on the right, he heals. I hate him. Ah! And Tenjin's down for the count. Lovely, but keep up the punishment, definitely. And you know what? Let's use actually. Let's let's use our soul spell. Uh, that should be fine. You know what? I probably should have done is had Higan revive him and then had Subaru heal him, because he's probably going to die again uh, from these guys. Because he's probably not going to get a turn till all three of them go. But I might get lucky. Okay, so let's try this again. <laughs> Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and use, uh, where is it, the, um, da, 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 da. Light Flicker on him. And then I'm going to have Subaru probably use her Spirit Spell to get everybody's HP up. I really don't want that right eye to heal again. I need to really, oh, you're alive. Huh, let's not. Let's have you use something halfway decent here. I know that I have some, like, all healing, um, Items. I just need to find them. I never really look into this stuff. Fully cures all party members with a miracle liquor, but that sounds like too good to actually use. Let's see. Oh, that's a full heal on one as well. Eh, you know what? Let's just use it. Fine. Whatever. I think that we're actually okay on HP with everybody else. Oh, but that actually healed all of his MP too. Eh, whatever. I I'm, I'm not really going to worry about it all that much. At this point, we're pretty much almost done with the game. So now is really the time to bring out all those items that you've been saving up anyway. So, yeah. Okay, got the left one dead. Nice. Perfect. And then once the left one dies, yeah, the middle guy is going to revive him. Lucky us. Okay, we're still doing good. Let's get another sting going on on Higon. Really build up that attack power. Like, I want to build up in like the 600s, right? And the 300s is nice, but... It can go higher. And let's have you use uh, Zest on everyone. I would like to keep everybody's HP roughly about over 300 or so. And Subaru should be able to use another, um, oh great, another heal. Yeah, so this is going to be a long battle. Um, oh yeah, Subaru's going to have to do some healing. But this is pretty much how it's going to go while I get ready for fast forwarding. Uh, I'm going to be using Sting on Higon. I'm going to be having Higon 
attacking, and then Subaru healing or wonder flying. So, uh, hope you guys enjoy! Hey, we got him! Yeah, it just takes a while with all that healing and everything going on, the reviving, it can be a pain. But he's not that hard, just keep your HP up, you'll be fine. Especially with us all hitting weapons. Uh, yeah, we are. Oh, okay. So are you actually going to kill him? Or is Subaru going to stop you? Like she always does. Oh! Hey! Nice! Nobody stopped us! It's about time. And he died. For real this time. But now, can we leave here and stop Deninji himself? Find out next time on Let's Play 10 Game Macchio Zero. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.